What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and today I'm showing you the most amazing way to use up that leftover smoked pulled pork. And let's be honest, if you're making pulled pork, I know you've had leftovers. This is one of my favorite ways to jazz them up, turn them into something completely new. It is my take on a smoky Cuban sandwich. Let's do it. We're gonna kick off our Cuban sandwich with a whole loaf of French bread. I'm getting this directly on my grill grates to toast the inside. And then we're gonna make a little mojo marinade for our pork. This is leftover pulled pork, but we're adding in all of the traditional Cuban flavors like orange juice, oregano, red pepper flakes, cumin, onion powder, salt, pepper. And I also like to use a little bit of lime and zest of some juice. Just bring that up to heat over low heat to get all of those flavors to combine. Big sheet of foil, take off your toasted bread. It's time to start assembling our sandwich. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna preheat a really heavy cast iron skillet on my grill. I wanna spread one side of my sandwich with some stone ground Dijon mustard, and then layer on some Swiss cheese. I've also got some sliced deli ham. I like to use peppered ham if you can find it. And then on goes my warmed up mojo pork. You can layer this on as thick as you would like, which is one of the beautiful benefits of making the sandwich at home. Sprinkle in some fresh cilantro. And then of course you need some pickles. I like to use some hamburger sliced dill pickles. The top of the sandwich gets a little bit more of that Dijon style mustard. Pop that on top and then we wanna wrap things up really tightly. One of the beautiful things about a Cuban sandwich is all of these things being pressed together into one really cohesive bite. So make sure it's in there tight, get it onto the grill, and then we're gonna take the preheated cast iron skillet, set it on top and kind of press. This is gonna combine everything in the sandwich and toast the top and the bottom at the same time. It is a very hefty and hearty sandwich. A heavy sandwich. That's a crispy sandwich. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, that's what I call a sandwich. That is no lame excuse for leftover pulled pork. It is totally reimagined, layers on layers of flavor. Now when we serve these, I actually just like to cut them into slices. They usually hold together really well. Oh, that bottom crust is so crunchy on that bread. Look at that sandwich! Oh, my cheese is like oozing out the bottom. Now I love mustard and pickles, so that super tangy zip right off the bat is phenomenal, but it's all balanced out by that rich, fatty, smoky pork. And then all the seasonings that we put in there with the orange and the lime and the red pepper flakes brings like a nice, like, zingy heat. Plus you got that creamy Swiss cheese and that salty ham. Honestly though, the star might be that super crunchy French bread that we toasted on the inside and the outside. That is a textural delight. I'm gonna finish noshing on this sandwich. I wanna know your favorite way to use up leftover pork. So let me know in the comments section because these pork shoulders make a lot when you smoke them and it's always awesome to have a bunch of different ideas and ways to use up our leftovers. I can't wait to see what you make. We'll see you next time.